Hello and welcome to another week with Mary's Dream Time Messages. Last week we got the um, crocodile, I am powerful, and ancestral dragonfly, I am awakening. So did you receive some kind of message this week that um, kind of made way for your future? The crocodile, um, I hope you were able to connect with the crocodile last week um, so that you can um, bring some more changes um, into your life that's bringing you a great, that's going to make more room for a greater joy for you. Um, it could have been um, the disempowering situation, could have been connected to past relationships or um, it could have been to do with um, your work and wanting to change something to do with your work or to do with any changes in your family. So you know that any changes that you make is putting more energy into what you want and what you would like to happen. But in order for us to do that, we have to make the decision to make a change in doing that. So if that all went well, then you would have received some kind of awakening from last week. So I hope you were able to get some benefits back. And uh, I would love to hear your comments uh, below if, uh, if you had some kind of... Um, uh, situation that uh, arose for you that made some pretty um, great transformations so that you can bring that greater joy into your life that you're looking for. Well the week is going to be starting this week is the 17th of um, February and um, running until the 23rd so, um, you know, I hope you had a lovely time on Valentine's Day. And it doesn't have to be all about another person. It can be about you too and recognizing that love within yourself and helping that to grow more because uh, it's always nice um, that we can give back to ourselves at times and uh, just as much that we give out to others, especially if you're giving a very giving person. Here's the Dreamtime card deck. Comes in a box and you put your 85 page booklet and 33 glossy cards. And so every week I just pull out two cards to give us some motivation and inspiration and guidance uh, so that we can keep our week positive and full of love and light and uh, with uh, giving us the messages which are most connected to culture uh, the land and healing, making the transformations that we want to make so that we can come to a greater awareness within ourselves and a greater happiness. And the card that we got this week is, oh my goodness, <laughs> Dragonfly again. Can you believe that? We got Dragonfly last week with the Ancestors, which was a different version of the Dragonfly. Um, this one is about being blissful. I am blissful and when I give, the message tells you that when I give myself time to recharge, I become calm and energy flows naturally into bliss. And becoming into that bliss state is, so, is such a nat The thing is, it sounds very fancy, but it's actually a very natural state and that when we get to that calm, there can be a hundred a million things that we need to do, but uh, when we're in that calm and blissful state, it just we can get all those jobs done within like a few hours. Like, and when we're stressed, we can be stressed, and uh, you know we've got a hundred million one things to do again, and it'll be very hard to just get one or two of those jobs done. So it's um. You know, it's very interesting uh, how that works um, and how much we can actually get done in, in such a state that way. And uh, so the dragonfly is showing you what type of pattern you're trying to transform. It is, is it connected to family or someone you were close to? Maybe you are just wanting to focus more on yourself so that you can slow yourself down enough to understand yourself more in this pattern of transformation. So in the book, it goes into a lot more detail. Um, so 
Uh, when you allow yourself time to relax, you can understand more and this leads to flashes of insight also. And I understand this very well because my job is heavily connected to creativity and your job may be as well. Um, that uh, in order for me to even do the paintings that I do, I have to get myself down into this state in order for me to paint the painting and then for the messages to come as well. So if I'm not in that kind of state, then I don't uh, do my painting. I'll let another day pass until I can get myself back into that state. So um, these flashes of insights can be very valuable, telling us information that we are needing to hear or guidance, um, that it's an answer to a question. Um, you can practice this re relaxation mode for yourself. It will feel like you're going really fast due to the fact that you have more of an open understanding of yourself, which allows you to make the necessary changes you want that will re propel yourself forward. This puts you in more control over your destiny and what direction you want to take, which could lead you more to more areas of transformation within your work life or in relation to your connection with others. Just go with the flow right now but the action step is telling you to let go of all doubts and trust in what comes next and if you're feeling indecisive slow down relax breathe and the answer will surely come in time so you may be feeling scattered negative you may be feeling scattered doubtful or indecisive the positive is allowing yourself to have freedom trusting yourself more and this can lead to an awakening within you so this can happen at any time, in any passing moment, but these awakenings can also happen in very big major changes within our life. So, um, and I really understand this very well because I've gone through a lot of things uh, and a lot of transformations that's led, led me to this point today. Um, I know that a transformation I was trying to reach even took me about six years. Can you believe that? And that was the, one of the biggest things I've ever had to overcome in my entire life. And it was a very big responsibility which was also connected to my family. So let's see the next card that's going to pop up this week, um, which is with the camel. So in this card deck I do have the camel and the horse because this is about um, the Aboriginal, um, contemporary Aboriginal work that I've done in the card deck and also in the colouring in book has the horse and the camel because this relates to the Aboriginal history and uh, these animals were around at that time from the beginning. Um, so these, uh, it's important to understand these animals and to understand your past. Understand the past and the past that we come from because this actually helps us to have a greater understanding and connection to where you have come from. And when you have that, so much of that understanding, you can know where you're going to be going. So I am trusting with the golden camels tells you the message that when you give yourself the strength to keep going with your goals, you can trust that you will reach your end result regardless of any challenges. So there may be some challenge that comes, comes up this week, but just remember that it's important to see that as an opportunity for you to change, um, for opportunity for you to change your direction. It could be for you to change your, um, uh, how you were going to go about things, um, but there is definitely uh, something there that uh, you need to have a look up, look at, so that you can get a greater understanding of what it is that's needing to have that transformation take place. Um, so the ca the golden camel tells you that you may be having some doubts about yourself and your path due to um, the same challenges. So just because you're having the challenges, don't give up. Don't think that this is not the right thing for you or whatever. Don't let it get you down and use the strength of the camel to get through this time. The purpose of the camel is to show you the great inner strength that you have inside yourself. Turn any challenge you're having right now into an opportunity for you to further strengthen your position and your dreams. You must believe in yourself during any times of challenge that 
are coming your way. Now is not the time to give up. Continue on your quest to fulfill your dreams and every little bit of action goes a long way right now. Take it slow and steady steps towards your dreams. So if you're having a challenge, just slow down maybe so it doesn't feel so stressful. The negative, you may be fearing some change. You may be getting confronted with a lot of things. Um, and you may be having a disbelief in yourself. The camel can help you to have strength and foresight and it's showing you any challenges that are there so that you can clear the way better. Um, so whatever gives you the strength to keep going every day is the key to your endurance at this time to keep going. So the challenges that you are facing is just for you to work out what it is um, that is needing to have a resolve in you or just needing to go deeper into something that may be showing you that there's some kind of growth that's occurring within you so don't give up and uh, keep believing in your dreams okay no matter how hard it gets you know that you can do this so the two cards that came this week is with Dragonfly, I am blissful, and the Golden Camels, I am trusting. So I hope you have a great week with these two. And if you have any comments for me, just put them down below in the comments section. And I hope you have a great week with these two, and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.